Welcome back folks to Let's Play Discworld. When we last left off, we got the luggage and a banana. That's pretty much it. So let's go through this door. I shut the door, didn't I? Let's go through the door. Luggage will follow us this time. Because luggage is awesome. We have various rooms you can explore. Some of them have absolutely no purpose right now. Um, one of them that has no purpose is the dining room. So we're not going to go in there just yet. However, we did want to be seen by the arch... Oh, statue. Yes, well, art criticism was never a strong point of the University Trust. There is, a, there is the Chancellor's room. Let's see what Rinton has to say about that. Oh, sod it. I'm all lost now. <laughs> We've only gone down the stairs, Rincewind. Hello. Ah, if it isn't young Brickwind. Oh, Rincewind, sir. Rincewind, quiet. Come in. We need to talk. That is, I need to talk. And you listen. Oh, really? No doubt you've been hearing all sorts of rumors about this dragon that supposedly is terrorizing the town. It probably is. Uh, d d uh, d dragon? As in the uh, classic fire breathing, city toasting. Shut up! <laughs> yes. Pretty much scaly, vain, like shiny objects, that species of kidney. And what we need to do is to ensure that the unseen university is properly represented in the attempt to dispose of it. If some yokel simply slays the wretched thing without our help, the people will begin to ask just what wizards what are, are we for? for. Actually, sir, what are wizards? Oh, yeah. for? Wizards are firmly behind big dinners. Yay. And if you want to keep on eating yours, you'll go and see about this dragon. Surely, sir, dragons don't logically exist. Shut up! Dragons exist if you believe in them. And the average man in the street does believe in them. Or at least believes in them enough to give us big rewards if they think we've gotten rid of the thing. Yay! Do you follow me? Not really. Shut up! Not interested in excuses. Too much sloppy thinking around here. Run down to the library and fetch me a copy of Featherwinkle's concise compendium of Dragon's Lairs. Once we've read that, we'll know how to track the scaly blighter down. Okay. You still here? Standing around like something unhygienic? Do it now! I'm looking at the shelves. Hmm. Golden thingamies. It must be good to be the Arch-Chancellor. Let's uh, go to the library, as he said. Now, the interesting thing about the li oh, the arch chancellor, by the way, is an utter, utter moron. Like sitting behind his desk and telling people to do things while he doesn't actually do them. Uh, there's one minor thing about the library. And that's the librarian. That's the kitchen. This is the library. We don't need the kitchen yet either, I don't think. Well now, this door's all sticky. Why does it smell of fruit? Yeah, it's ominous. Let's go in. Yes. The thing about the library is... The librarian is a monkey. And only speaks... Monkey. That doesn't work. Let's examine these books. Hmm... Sex Magic, the book of the 32 unspeakable acts, with a compendium containing several speakable ones, and six more that everyone involved would rather forget about. No wonder it's on ice. <laughs> yeah, here's a book. Ah, let's not press this curiosity thing too far then, shall we? Uh, unfortunately, we're going to need to talk to the librarian, so let's try it. Now, the various options... We'll write Clinton to examine them. Useful for exchanging pleasantries with somebody. Okay. Useful for inflicting irony, sarcasm and bad jokes on people. Good. Useful as a means of getting an answer. I like the fact that the third one is that. Useful for venting frustration and anger. <laughs> a conversation topic. And? Useful for leaving a conversation. Let's have some pleasantries with him. Mm. Hello? Ooh, he get. You're not in charge here, Sadly. are you? Sadly. Oh, oh, I see. Well, that explains the filing system. Look, I don't know if you're quite the person that I want to see. Oh, ooh, one thing yeah, well, it, about, it's hard to the, explain, about really. the librarian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Ook, eek, ooh, ooh, ook. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh
This is wonderful. I never knew I could speak monkey. Don't call him a monkey! You get smacked over the head if you do. Could you get the number of that donkey cop? He calls him a monkey a lot! Hi. Do you mind if I monkey about in the library for a while? And then he gets smacked around the head again. That's two times. Did you get the number of that donkey In a one conversation. May I take a book from the library, please? Excuse me? I see. Um, I need something in order to take out a book. Toothpaste? Fingers? Gloves? Something in your hand? A dentist? How do you You want some mouthwash? That's it. You want some mouthwash? I'm sorry, but I'm already spoken for. Oh! A library card! <laughs> Why didn't you say so in the first place? What happens if I just barge in without giving you a library card? Yes. Now look, unfortunately, I don't have one ape. Ooh! Uh, ape on... Upon my person. Ooh, nice save. Yes, upon my person. Phew. I didn't say monkey. Whoops. Bang! <laughs> Three times! Did you get the number of that donkey cop? Alright, let's, let's get angry. Hey! Whose monkey is this? Four times! Did you get the number of that donkey Let's cop? ask about the actual book, shall we? Excuse me, my dear sir. Could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Layers? <laughs> I see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Me, uh, yes, I suppose so. <laughs> mm-hmm. Quite. Look, is there someone else here that I can speak to? Uh oh. Well, you know, someone who isn't a monkey. Five. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? No, I'll come back and get a book later. Yes, I've given up. No, not not given. Monkey. Hey, oh, damn. <laughs> Six. Oh, poor Rincewind. Did you get the number of that donkey cop? Let's leave the conversation, shall we? This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Now, he's not going to give me a book unless we give him something in return. Let's explore the rest of the library first before we do that. We will be coming back to the library. That's a levitating book. Ye illustrious tome of levitation. Oh, yes, that's... That's levitating, all right. There's ropes and... Ah, sleazy guy. I don't think there's anything I want to do with him yet. Hey, buddy. Who, me? Have you ever thought about the advantages of owning land on the Fremen Wanger Peninsula? Isn't that all underwater? That's just its advantage, friend. Hmm. Think of it. A seaside retreat where the sea can actually be the one total dominating element of the view. Uh, we don't want to talk to you yet. Right. Well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. We really don't want to talk to him yet. And there's a particular bookshelf. Oh dear. There's little pamphlets living in it. Now, we want to solve at least one more puzzle before the end of this video. So, where's luggage? We want that banana. Let's examine it. Hmm. Fruit with its own wrapping. Now, I bet a monkey will be much more compliant if we give him a banana. I'm a genius! Excuse me, my dear sir. Could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lair? And funnily enough, he's going to do it. Like a monkey. <laughs> Efficient. Thanks, buddy. You're a star. Hmm. Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs. Detect dragons from a comfortable distance or your money back. Hmm. Don't know what that is. I can't make head nor tail of these runes. Oh, okay. Good. Glad to know Rincewind knows how to read nothing. So, when we come back, we will continue. And we might actually get out of Unseen University at some point. <laughs> yeah, right. Until then, folks. Until then.